Hello. Oh. Thank you so much for letting me stop by for another home visit. I don't think I'll be doing any stitchy police duties and um, even though I would love to know if you've been shopping because I, I, I did tell you to, you know, buy some patterns and buy some kits and whatnot. And some of you have. I have been getting reports that it's been so exciting. God. I love it when you guys buy stuff. I love it. It makes, me, it makes me almost as happy as when I buy stuff. So, okay, sometimes it might make me even happier, which is actually a good thing, thinking about what I'm going to talk like what I'm going to talk about later in the video. Um, okay, before I go any further, let's do this properly. Hello, welcome, or thank you for welcoming me to your home. Uh, my name is Laura, or Laura. Either way is fine, whichever fits better in your mouth, you know, it's fine. I am from Finland, but live in Australia, and my channel is called I Stitch Birds. Yes, I still stitch birds. I have more bird projects that I need to show you. Haven't started them, but been very naughty. But I am so happy that you're here today because I just, I really need some stitchy chat. And it's so lovely when your stitchy puddings are here. So nice when, when we get to chat. I mean, you are such a good listener though, because you just let me chat and... I do sometimes wonder... If you guys, like, talk to me while I'm talking or yell at me, or what, because I, d <laughs> when I watch Floss Tube, I definitely do yelling. <laughs> yes, I, I, I definitely do some of that, because one just has to, okay? For, for one, I always tell everybody, stop apologizing. You don't need to apologize. Stop, 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 stop. Because you don't. Stop stop apologizing for everything when, when, you know, doing your videos. It's fine. You do exactly what you want. And I like zipper sounds. Let me just put that, that one out there. Because I really like the zippers. <laughs> Makes me sad when bags have already been unzipped. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get back to this. So, today is... Thursday the 17th of August and I am very 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 excited because on Saturday the 19th the World Athletics Championships begin I guess I haven't, <laughs> I haven't told, you, told you that I love big sports events I so much, I so, so, so love the Olympics. Absolutely love them. But I am a big fan of athletics or I guess in America you just you call it track and field. I love it. I love watching the events. Doesn't even matter what they do there in the field. I love it. I love it just everything. And... And, um... I didn't even realize until like last weekend that they're starting in a week. I find it that um, in Australia, it's really hard to know when these... Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, that's worth apologizing for. So I have found it that living in Australia, I find it so hard to... Um, 
know when these sports events are on. In Finland, I would always know them because there's always a buzz about them. Um, but it's it's a bit different here. But the good thing is that they are showing it on, if you're in Australia, they're showing it on SBS. You can stream live and I imagine go back to watch them because they are held in Budapest in Hungary. So the watch times for me will be from always from the morning session start at 4 a.m. No, 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 no. Sorry. 4 p.m. Melbourne time. And I'll be watching till about 6 a.m. So <laughs> plenty of all nighters coming up. Yes. It'll be so quiet and wonderful. I get to watch all evening, all night. I get to stitch and then go to bed in the morning, in the afternoon, do it all over again. I am beyond excited. Like, I can't tell you. I am so, so, so chuffed. Um, talking about big sports events, the funny thing is that, like, the women's football, well, soccer, um, World Cup has been held here in Australia and New Zealand. And I just, I couldn't get into it at all. Um, Paul watched a um, couple of matches, like the last two with the Matildas, which is the Aussie team. Even though, I mean, he's English, so he was going for England last night, who did beat the Aussies, so... So England will be going to the final now against Spain. Anyway, that's not that's not why. You're here. But anyway, I miss that, and I miss these swimming world championships. It's like it's unheard of. But what can you do? Sometimes you're just not in the right mood. But yeah, I really am so excited. Can't wait to watch sports. I love it. I love it so much. Will you be watching? I hope you will, Mia. I know that you'll be watching because you watch you watch more than I do because, well, you're in Finland, so you get good access to everything. I kind of have to sort of be happy with what I can get here. So, so that's one thing very to be very excited. But the other thing is. For somehow I have one over 1,500 subscribers now. No, oh, I was going to bring here some paper shreds to throw again <laughs> to celebrate. What the, do I have anything here? I have, I have a couple of tissues. <laughs> Even cheaper. <laughs> Even cheaper than a lower budget celebration. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> but I don't know how these things happen. Like it really does it blows my mind because never in my wildest dreams did I think that there would be this many people you know, visiting and looking at what I stitch and Listen to my ramblings and my goal really was like, I, I was going to be so happy if I have 10 people who always come and watch and who really like to see the projects that I work on and leave me comments so I get to chat. That was my, my goal and so this is pretty amazing. Talking about comments, I am dreadfully dreadfully behind the comments like replying back to them i of course read them all so i think whenever there's a break in the sport like between the morning and evening sessions i reckon i'll try and catch up a bit then but thank you so so much for comment the comments are just oh my goodness how happy they make me it's so fun to read what, what you've thought about, you know, something that I've worked on or 
done or bought or whatever it is it's so exciting it is it is really is fun oh i forgot to bring a drink <laughs> oh and um there'll be plenty of those little videos again uh during this video and i was watching them earlier and the theme of today's episode is definitely bubble teas god i seem to have a different bubble tea in every one of them so <laughs> oh god so maybe that'll be the title of the of today's video as well and today I'm in my lingonberry t-shirt. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it is. Another one that my mom made for me. <laughs> and I actually just bought three new t-shirt fabrics so that um, my mom is going to make me another three t-shirts. And it's really nice because they are Finnish made and designed fabrics. So I always, always love to um, wear that sort of thing, so I like to have anything finish. Yeah, anyway. Oh gosh, I'm looking at my hair, look at that! Really, I'm half bald. But that's okay, that's not the, that's not the main thing for this one. I have had to write like a proper list of what I need to remember to say because I have so many of the videos, so try and then remember um, what I need to say. Maybe do you know move on from one video to the other, and all those bits. My head was a mess, so I've written things down. Hey Daisy, are you going for a kip there? You can go kip on the couch, baby. Daddy has made for a little nest for you there, so you can go in. And get comfy there. Good girl. Good girl. I think I'll add here a picture of Daisy sleeping in in the nest that Daddy makes for her in the morning, so that because she she looks really cute when she's there. Okay, I think I think we're just gonna get going now because there's a lot to watch. And for me to show. And yes, it's it's funny. It's already, you know, 17th of August. And I'm now starting with the August plans. But that's how it goes. Just took a while to get the video done this time. I mean, yeah, it's been two weeks. Over two, over two weeks. Didn't think that was going to take that long. But okay. Let's look at my... August plans at the start of the month. Hello, hello. It is the first day of August, which means the, which means what? <laughs> it's the last third of winter here now starting. Woo, 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 heading towards spring. Yeah, 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 yeah. It hasn't been that bad a um, winter here though, so. But spring is always nice. Summer will be too hot. But um, no point worrying about that yet. Because now it's time for August plans. Of course, as usual, this is in the plans. But that is all I managed to stitch in July. I am embarrassed. I have been keeping up with this so well, but last month I totally bombed. Absolutely totally bombed. I don't know what happened. I think I just, just didn't get it done at the beginning of the month and then it just felt harder and harder. And Or oh, there's something about the July block that I don't know, just made me anxious. I'm not quite sure. So, I need to finish this and then do the August block. I might actually move the fabric so they both are in, in, the, in the view. 
so I can just work on both, like use the same colors because they use the same colors anyway. Well, the whole thing uses the same color lot, so it's just varying it a, a little bit. So yes, definitely need to finish this because I don't, I really do want to have this finished in December. So I just got the pictures on my iPad. So in that way, I am ready to go. Oh, by the way, I am so sorted with my bubble teas. Today's flavor is strawberry with lychee popping pearls. Lychee or lychee? I keep hearing both. I don't quite know which one is the correct pronunciation. But that's what I'm having at the moment to keep me going. They keep me going. Such happy drinks. <laughs> right. So for August, I don't have a kit and caboodle kit to work on because I finished it. It was the the RTO bear one that um, Amanda and I have been working on as, as our current sow. So... She will probably be posting update pictures of hers on Instagram. And of course, her Instagram is Crosstitch Angel. So you can check those there if you want. But yeah, since mine is finished, I was thinking about maybe picking one of my bigger webs, which of course, usually dimensions or something like that, because I don't really, go, I don't go bigger than that. Um... And giving that some extra loving this month. So at the moment, what I'm thinking is that, of course, it's also time for the one hour stitchy challenge. Um, this month, Amanda picked from my whips. The Dimensions Sunset Mountain Trail, Mountain Trail, which is so gorgeous and is actually the kit that started my Dimensions obsession. Because I, I really hadn't been that, that keen because they're quite big and a lot of them full coverage and I was like, oh, just no interest. Then I saw this and it was like, oh my goodness, I went deep after that. <laughs> Oh, I went so deep. Oh my goodness. And now I have a box of of Dimensions kits to work on. This one is just so adorable. Such gorgeous colors. Those bears are amazing. And I love that outline on the bears. Because um, reflection from the sun from behind. So that is lovely. So this is where I'm starting, which is a uh, rather pathetic, yet another one of my pathetic starts. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'll be known for. <laughs> it's the stitcher with the pathetic starts. But you are all welcome to call your little starts pathetic as well. You can, you, you're welcome to join me. So actually last time I was stitching here, so I have already, I've made it to the bears. So I may even be tempted to stitch the bears when I'm doing my one hour of this. But I was also thinking that maybe this could be my, the August kit that I work on a little bit more because I would love to make some more progress. Like I would like this to look like something maybe work on this tree or because I tend to just be a bit of an all over stitcher a lot. I so admire those people who are the, you know, who who will like stitch everything when they go from there. They like stitch the whole tree at once and whatnot. For me, it's like, I just, I see some color. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go with that and just go there and then then pick another random color and do a bit with that and of course i've been going down this page break like because that that 
sort of keeps my anxiety at bay like just taking color like always um taking turns whatever color comes up next just going with that then i don't have to try and decide all the time of which way to go or which color to pick so that works well for me so i'll yeah i'll work on the work on that for the hour and then when i continue i might just keep going down here which would be wait i think it's is that the tree that i did a bit so i guess it's then going going down here which would be lovely because then i get you know really fun things to stitch there as well and this one is in the lovely bag made by sherry love my vegetable bag just nice color so i think that's all i have actually for august plans so i don't have many things but just need to yeah getting those bird and flower done is the is the key but i think today i still want to work on my current whip because i am enjoying that so i feel like once i get that done um and put that away it's a good time to then work on something different because my desk is otherwise overwhelming okay it was so nice i, I love seeing um everyone's monthly plans i find it just so fun and i love to share mine as well even though i don't have that many this time but um okay that's it for now Time to have a good sip of my strawberry tea and get stitchy. Okay, there you go. Didn't really have that many plans for this month, which was actually good because it's been a bit difficult to start for the month. Um, but let's just go now straight to the to the first whip that I worked on, which I actually. Well, I don't need to say it because you, you'll hear about it in the video. So, let's roll. Hello. Okay, the first one of the little videos for my... For, sorry, for this floss tube episode. In fact, I am just uploading my previous video to YouTube. So, I thought that while that's going, I'm just going to get my next whip on the Q-snap and start stitching. I am very excited. God, I love this bag. Do you love this bag? Because I think it's so beautiful. It's another one by Simply Narelle. Because you know, I got lots of her bags. Does it, this one doesn't have a tag yet. One of the older bags. But I love this bag so much. So this whip was called by my lovely, 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 lovely Texas friend Sherry whose latest video I'm going to be watching while stitching. So she is Hecate's Needle. And I love that picture of her there. <laughs> She's smart. That's so fun. Why does YouTube always pick really awful ones for me? Gosh. So, here we go. As you can see, I got the, the teeny tiny Q-snap ready because it's not a big size project. I love it when I get to use this because it's so easy to hold. It's a little bit of a pain sometimes, though, um, finishing the threads on the other side because I like to have the, the fabric on top. If I had it on the bottom, yeah, wouldn't be a problem. But well, I'm used to having it on top, so I don't want it. I don't want any extra stress with that. So, so here we go. What did you think? Whoa! <laughs> it's Wilbur. By Teresa Kogut. I love Wilbur. Wilbur is so incredibly cute. Oh, I just love him. I love all the color changes and just, oh, it's so nice. It is so lovely. And this is actually one of the rare ones for me where I have bought the Ask for Fancy Floss. Because I don't usually, I don't stitch a lot of the American 
patterns really and they tend to be like the the ones who use the the fancy flosses but for this one i really liked how the colors looked so i did want to go with those so here they are and stitching it on this gray fabric and this is where i'm starting from there we go we got almost almost half the head <laughs> not really not really because i mean so it's only like this bit here oh boy i have more more to do than i thought but that's okay now i think i fully stitched oh no there's one stitch missing like just randomly but i think other than that this bit is fully done this was like one one page of the pen i don't know how how is the rest there then is the rest just the i don't know i'll figure it out when i have a look so i don't really know what direction i'll be going because the options are all bad because i mean i would love to go to this edge i think what i should do is make the effort of just counting my way here so that i can then just stitch that ear and then just start going i like that right and it's not a big that big of a pan so it's not like the counting will be awful even on what am i stitching it on is that even we will linen looks like linen i mean it has the blobs of course i don't have the color marked i think it is this a silver silver something or a storm <laughs> silver storm <laughs> i don't know what it is but i'm gonna i'll check that for my for the next video where i show what i got done and then i can tell you what the fabric is because i think the fabric is from one to three stitch and it is a really nice one i thought it was perfect for this oh and i'm not gonna do the do the frame because he doesn't need it i just want to put him in a picture frame then so that he's he's like in the corner with a lot of empty space i think it'll be it'll be lovely okay i better get going oh my lovely husband brought me stitching goodies some new chocolate cadbury vanilla passion fruit that sounds excellent and look at this this is this is typical laura three three cups of drink <laughs> I like having three drinks. That's like my thing. Usually one of the three is cold, but then again, all of these have gone cold. So two different teas and it's a chai latte. <laughs> and by the way, I'm using a few of these uh, Finnish um, benthic mugs and I'm not using them at the moment. So I decided to bring this one out and use it as a, um, just as a mug where I chuck the bobbins once I've use them and then every now and then i empty it out and put them back into their boxes which are whoop, up there at the moment so that's where my my main um floss storage is Ooh, i'm coming back okay i i really do hope to make some progress in this one i just i feel uneasy when i need to go left but I'll watch Sherry, she'll keep me good company and encourage me. So, <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Right, Wilbur is so cute, isn't he? He's just so adorable. So, next I have a little, little bit of a floss tube extra. <laughs> because I have been really thinking about doing the stitch with me video but um figuring how out the like 
how to work it out like with this setup like how do i get a camera so that you know you actually see something but that i also see see to stitch like even just thinking about it has been a little bit overwhelming so i decided to just grab a, a one holder that i have plop it on my desk and stitch but the problem is that i can't see what i'm doing because the camera is away showing away from me because it was like between between me and the stitching so i was i was stitching blind there so on the video my stitching is like to the side a bit but you know you still get to see something and i'm chatting away so um it's only the first try, so don't panic. If I do stitch with me videos, they're not all gonna be like this. But I still thought that it would be nice enough to put it here. So here's me stitching Wilbur. Okay. This is working. Let's see. Let's get another piece of this thread here. I thought that I would try and see how I go working, like stitching in front of the camera. Of course, having to sort out the camera because I can't see what I'm doing because of this camera holder being here as it is. So. Let me see, and if I can, if it's all right, I can then use it in the video. I am working at the moment on DMC 356 because this piggy, I am using all the cold for colors. So it's like half a DMC. Then there's some classic color works and some weak dye works. Actually, there's more DMC than those. Those are just like five fancy flosses, so let's see, where do I next need to use this? It is here. Actually, let's go here. Just because I, I say so. Whee, there we go. I do both like the loop start and just like regular start. I'm not, I'm not actually too bothered nowadays. Days. I was so excited when I started using the loop start and then all of a sudden I was doing like even the regular kind of starts just fine and we were like, oh well, wow, it's not too bad. So, let's see. I find it funny when anybody says that my stitches are looking nice because they look dreadful most of the time to me they look dreadful because they always like like have these loose thread on them or something that drives me crazy i think i don't know maybe somehow magically in pictures they look they look better um, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So I have been quite enjoying working on on Wilbur again. So glad that Sherry called his, his number. So I got to work on him. So of course, you know, I had done the, the right bit. It was then a bit shocking when I counted because I decided to count myself to the left edge so that it will be a bit easier for me to stitch. I was actually surprised of how much further it, it went. How little I had done, but that's how the the pattern is divided. So 
so that's how I'm stitching. So anyway, I ended up just grabbing the first color on the thread list and ended up color completing. Sometimes it is such an amazingly efficient way to stitch. It works for me so well because I don't have to decide all the time what color to pick next because that takes a lot of time for me because I start looking at all different colors and like almost thinking like what's the benefit of stitching that one or is there a good path with that color to stitch and then it, it gets more and more stressful it'll do its twirling a bit there we go but this way I just go in the go in the order that the colors are and stitch what is there it's nice because it's a smaller area of stitching So nice and quiet here today. Paul is in the city working. He works from home a couple of days a week and then the rest of the time he rest of the week he has to be in the city. So very quiet here. Yeah, both cats are happily napping. Let's see, I'm just gonna jump down here. I really don't care too much about, you know. I jump with the thread. I don't do like massive jumps, but certainly some I'm I'm really not that bothered. It's very scary to show yourself stitching. Makes me feel so vulnerable that the stitchy police might come and judge my stitching say that is just not good enough rip it all out and i'll teach you how to how to stitch properly <laughs> but at the meetups and retreats it's like everybody stitches in a different way like it's like how is it even possible how can there be so many ways of stitching but it just is. We all have our comfortable way of stitching. And just keep on going. So, as you can see, I stitch from top right to bottom left. Then bottom right. Whoop. To top left. When it goes too close there. There we go. Mm, mm, mm. Been sipping here my lovely bubble teas. I'm now on to passion fruit one with actually passion fruit popping pearls. I love popping pearls, they're so delicious. I don't have them as often now as I used to. I was going to start my working on my August whips today, but I just I was going really well with this one, so I didn't want to take the chance that I uh, wah, that I didn't lose my mood for this one. If if working on a whip is going well, you just you don't mess mess with it, right? It's hard enough sometimes to find the the enthusiasm. Let's see, that's the that color. So it's third from that one. One, two, and three. Another stitch of that. Mm. And one more here. And I think we are done with this color then. Which way is it going? It's 
sometimes these threads just keep on twirling and whirling. Not to keep track of which way it's going. Is that all of that one? There, there. Oh, I believe it is. So I get to move on to the next color. So I'm gonna finish this one. Let's just go there. Where are those scissors? I don't keep that. If it's DMC, it can go away. I'm gonna keep. I'll probably keep it in, so that I for sure don't run out. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it short this first time. Just see what you guys think. Is this something that you do want to want to watch? So I can get my setup and maybe a bit better and see how I go. Oh, stay steady, camera. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. <laughs> so I've been working on Welba. I ended up going, because I had done this bit here, ended up going left. Decided I counted my my way here so that I could just then start stitching backwards and the body would be one day my I didn't really have a goal I wanted to stitch a bit more but I noticed tonight I'm running out of puff for this one so I am going to put it away and work on something else so that's where I got and I am pretty happy with that didn't even realize that this side, like a, there was so so much more there to stitch. I really thought that I was going to do the whole thing, like the whole thing. But yeah, I don't know. Just today, I ran out of thing for it. So, but I'll be happy when it comes back, and then I can fill those empty spots. And well, let's just leave that for the that goal. Then I can, if I want to start heading downwards finish the head and and do the rest of the body i think it looks so cute i'm so happy that the eyes are there now that makes me happy girls look at all these dimensions threads here because i worked on the my one hour thing i think i will have shown it to you before this oh, oh, oh. let's see camera going all over the place because i'm going all over the place so i might actually bring this out because so i did my one hour stitching and then i have done 100 stitches of that today sorry i am what am i reaching for here oh youtube and here we go so yeah because I, I i am going to keep this out now and i was watching lindsay at blushing pink stitches yesterday and she is doing 100 stitches on one of her heads every day crazy lady <laughs> just for stitching aids. <laughs> that's all that's all it's all good so i was thinking that i might do that with this dimensions one i'm sure i just showed it to you but just in case if you already wanted to see it again and admire those colors yes here it is again so I thought that I might do 100 stitches a day and see where I get this month because the pattern is fairly overwhelming as dimensions always are for me. So doing it in smaller bits like that will be much better for my, my mental health really. Yeah, so... So the bears are almost done. Of course, no back stitching. So I mean, just have the little blobs here for the cubs and 
my mind's almost it just needs a little bit on the back because here in the front this is a rock and some greenery and I think a few flowers something like that so but I'm gonna just stitch wherever pick 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 whatever colors like that's what I was last stitching as you can see so I'll just continue with that color tomorrow but yeah I'll be really I'm really curious to see where I get like if I don't feel like like if it starts feeling like a chore to do it every day then of course I'll just stop and change plans or do no plans I'm not gonna try and stick to it if it's not fun at the moment it feels like a great fun thing to do okay so maybe I'll concentrate on one week at a time instead of thinking the whole month that's good and then if I get fed up I can always pick something else great good plan all right but i'll be coming back soon with the next next whip with the pathetic start or or heading for a finish and show that okay bye for now right and then it was time to get to those monthly blocks wah, wah. So, I thought I'd jump here even with this whip because why not? It's nice to hear about stitching up any of these, not just those whips that I'm trying to make progress with. So, as you know, that's all I managed to do of the July block. So, I need to finish that and stitch August block here. So, I've moved the fabric so that it's nice and centered there perfectly. Perfectly set for my stitching. Got my needle ready with black thread so that I can, I'm going to do the border first. Get that out of the way. Then I'm going to start color completing. I mean, I already did the greens here, but I might actually grab those greens back and do them for this one as well. And then just start going one color at a time and fill that color on both sides. Get them moving. I thought that I might even just take a picture every time I complete a color and then just put those pictures one after the other. Yes, I think that sounds like a great idea. So let's do that. I'll get stitching because I think I'm just going to get these done and not work on any other whip. Okay, other than the dimensioned one daily. But if I just work on this, it shouldn't take forever. And then I can get back onto my whip loving. And then I have three... A little bit more random video so let's just go straight to those as well <laughs> hello oh i have a bit of a barry white kind of voice at the moment because i have a cold oh i don't get ill very often so i feel a bit mis miserable <laughs> Oh, I think Paul is waiting for me to feel better again because I'm all the time like, oh, I need a cuddle. I'm ill. Well, this is what usually happens though when I get, get a cold. I just, I lose my voice and I have a bit of a runny nose and um, that's it. Which is not too bad. Just out of breath so easily if I get up just this cold just feels very chesty so anyway I got um got some lovely mail today got some orders so I thought I'll show them to you and show my face as well so this video is not just about the hey Daisy about the little videos where you can never see me so I'm gonna turn the camera around can I turn it around 
I can't turn it around. Okay, I'll have to do a separate video. <laughs> Whoa, technological wonder. <laughs> so, let's have a look what I got. Okay, here we are. I bought some fancier scissors. Who would have thought? Haven't had any interest in um, getting anything fancier. Like, these are the ones I, I usually use. I really like these ones. Um, got a couple of pairs, pairs of these, so. But, as I was on Etsy, as one often, often visits that place, right, as a stitcher? Yes, yes. yes I certainly do. Um, yeah, just saw these scissors, and they weren't that expensive, so I decided to order them. They're from uh, Madame Chantilly for, and came from Italy very quickly. It took a, took a week because that's very quick. These are vintage mint scissors. And yeah, I think they're really pretty. Whoa, where are they? There we go. Very sharp and nice, um, tiny, the, the tip. Also got two little buttons with the, with the scissors, so that was lovely. Um, also got my July fabric from, from France, from Domit Lily Creations. Dot com. Some nighttime tea, which comes handy because my sleep has been awful with this cold. This fabric is called dark jeans or dark denim, I suppose it would be. And I really like it. Um, I think I know what I'm actually going to stitch in this one. Because I have been waiting for ages to find a fabric for this pen. Oh, let me turn that. There we go. Isn't it so cute? I so love this one. I love the money. And of course, why I bought it? Yeah, the rain clouds. I love rain. Rain is so wonderful. And um, I've never really taken the time to um, look for a good fabric for it. Even though every now and then I've, you know, found the pattern again and thought, oh, I really want to stitch that one. But I think this might actually be suitable. It's a little bit darker than it um, shows at least this camera. So very pretty. Nice even wave. So very happy with this fabric. I do like it. So then one more order was also more fabrics. Oh, well, they certainly don't show correctly because I got two greens. I think maybe better now. This one is 32 count water lily um, linen. And this one is 32 count sage um Murano even weave. Got these for a specific purpose. I wish they would show a bit nicer. If I put some color there. No. Not on that one. No. They just don't want to show, right? Okay. Um yeah, I will be showing that on another video. Might It'll probably still be in this episode, I reckon, but I need to find some, find the threads that I need for the pen and try which one I want to use. And then I can do another little video. Yes, yes, yes. All sorts of exciting stuff happening here, <laughs> even when I'm ill. But now I am going to... 
Get back to stitching. No, no, I'm going to look for the threads first. Then more stitching. Really? Yeah, more stitching. You get some more stitching done too. I'm just about to start stitching. Yeah, my voice is still very low. <laughs> it's still very, very wide. But um, I got my bubble tea. I got a new, new one by Char Time. It's a berry one. I think it's for the Barbie movie. But look how cute that um, like heart shaped jellies at the bottom. I think those are lovely. I can't wait to try this and. Hopefully it'll power me to get some stitching done so I can finish, finally finish my monthly things and get back to my pathetic whip starts. <laughs> but just had to show that to you. See, I told you it's bubble tea, to bubble tea galore here this time. <laughs> but how could I, how could I not show you those lovely heart-shaped jellies? I mean, they look so lovely. So I was thinking that since I already talked about some haul, that why not show some more haul now? Um, there's some that I've purchased, also some stitchy kindness. I mean, honestly, I have really felt this this stitchy love. And the incredible kindness. And I don't I don't I don't I don't think I even have words to describe, you know, how 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 lovely it's been. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get on with it before I before I go all soppy and all silly here. And um I think I'm I'm not gonna show everything. I'm I decided I'm just gonna show the kits and whatnot. So we'll see, we'll see. So I got two new project bags. Well the problem is that Narelle just makes bags with such nice fabrics that I try and say no. I I I really I really try and say no, but just doesn't always work so so I got this one I think that is so beautiful those flowers are so lovely did this have pink or blue nope it has a pink pink floral I don't know how she does it but she always picks such nice fabrics for to to match and I was saying to Paul that I always love the zipper colors that she picks as well that is just amazing and the second one ta-da <laughs> same fabric but in different colors so beautiful this one already has a project in it the other one doesn't have yet because i haven't started anything anything like i've been still working on the um on the waves so what is waiting for a project then what else did i get okay here is some some stitching kindness that i got from a really lovely lady called becky there in america thank you so so much becky you are so lovely Um, take these out. Cause first of all, she sent me a project bag. Look at that lemon slice. I love this fabric. I really love lemony fabrics. Lemony anything really. I love it. I love it a lot. And she had quite randomly gotten me a kit 
that she didn't even know how much I would appreciate it. Let me show you. Let's see. It's almost a glare, but I think you can see it now. Isn't that beautiful? So the thing is, I have loved Mario Lyne Bestin's um, design work for a long time. Actually, my aunt was married to a Dutchman and lived in, there in Holland for um, most of her life, really. Most of her adult life. And I visited her there once in my, in my teens. And that's when I found out about her designs. Because I think I got some stickers. So I've really liked them since. I've never stitched any anything, like any of her designs. But I've been looking at them every now and then. You know, thinking about getting one. But I didn't really come across one that I like really, really wanted. This would have been one. This would have been the one. It is so perfect. I love those birds. Oh, it is it is so beautiful and I I can't wait to stitch this. Thank you so 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 much, Becky. It is absolutely amazing. And I love it so much. I cannot wait to stitch it. So that made me so happy. Thank you. And it wasn't even all that she said, but I thought that I better just... It'll take too long. <laughs> but I've definitely thanked her for all the things that she said. Because they were all wonderful. So, um, well, next one is a brand new um, arrival since I had just picked it up from the letterbox today. So I ordered a few things from 123 Stitch. Um, I don't really order too often from there because I do like to support Australian shops if possible. But the temptation with 123 Stitch is, of course, they have such a good variety. And they only charge $5 to mail to Australia, which is, like, unreal. So, I got myself one kit. I think it's a Design Works one. Yeah, it is. And it is called Raindrops. Yeah, when I saw that rain there, I had to get it. I just had to get it. Um, I, I may change what it says because rainy days are not ugly days for me. So I'll have to think about that one. And we'll see. Then I just, just got some fabrics. You no, know, three different ones because I want to restart a project that I, I just wasn't happy with the fabric I had for it. So I already took it out from my whips, frogged what I had stitched, and now it's the pattern is just waiting there. So I'm gonna test these and see. So this is 32 count white chocolate linen. Then I have 32 count lamb's wool. Nice. And 32 count flax Belfast linen. So we'll see. I must say that these fabrics are always so perfect for just about anything. And next um was another gosh 
I received a box of Stitchy Love from Cam in Virginia. Hi, Cam! <laughs> um, she had been, you know, thrift shopping and had found a couple of Dimensions kits and she asked if, you know, I'm interested in those because she had thought of me and I was like, yes! Yes, I am! And um, so she sent those, plus all sorts of other things, filling a box, fabrics, and just so many things. Goodness me. I just, I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to show the, the kids. Oh, okay. There we are. Okay, so she sent me this one. What is it called? Believe Snow Globe Ornament. And the funny thing is that I have been looking at these little ones, these little ornamenty ones, and I thought about getting one, but again, couldn't decide which one. So now I have one to try. And it's a lovely one too. Totally unopened and everything. Excellent. I can't wait. Then, oh, goodness me, this was an exciting one. It's a gold collection petite. Meowie Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. This also, I think it's just totally unopened. God. Uh, this is from 2005. I hadn't even seen this one before. I wonder if I should start this at, at Christmas. I don't know, not that Christmas ever feels like Christmas to me here because middle of summer, I mean, no. So the third one that she sent, this one was a pre-loved one, but it's a gold collection, Leonardo. Wow. I think this is already like well disappeared from the from the shops and not does it actually say what year this is from two thousand and five <laughs> so somebody had started this one it's with tape around the edges going the old school way so this is what somebody had done he looks so handsome but yeah I'm not gonna not going to continue from here the the good thing is that um it's pretty much been like two colors that they use sort of the the darker brown and then the reddish brown and because all the leftover threads were in the in the kit I think I'm what I'm gonna do is just get take out my DMC the what do you call that that thread book and find the closest um, thread to the color of the dimensions and just just replace because yeah there's still tons of threads here for where's the other stuff so i think if i replace those two it's gonna be fine so how amazing is that didn't think that i would ever get that one so can Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. Like, such a huge surprise. Both ladies just so surprised me. I just can't even tell. Like, oh, it's been so exciting. Like, it's been, it's been hard not to show it all, show it all already before. <laughs> then I also, um, 
I stopped by at the monthly meetup, stitchy meetup, but I couldn't stay because I had the cold. Um, but I dropped off a couple of kits for the for the um couple of my lovely stitchy friends there, and then Jackie had this one and asked if I wanted it, and yes, I wanted it because I love wombats, and I've been eyeing this one every now and then, so pretty excited to actually stitch it now. Yeah, wombats are really cute. One one spit my my finger a little bit, my finger. wasn't being mean it was just I think it just maybe smelled of food yes so another one that I'm looking forward to okay let me just take a little little breather it's like I'm doing much better now like recover from the cold But I can tell that, um, like, uh, talking so much, I'm starting to a bit throaty and my nose is getting um, um, I don't need to blow it, but I can feel it's getting somehow a little bit harder to breathe. Or maybe I've just been too excited. It really is nice to nice to be here. Oh, and it's nice to be back in my chair as well. I forgot to mention that. Did you miss the cookbooks this one? <laughs> so it's nice to be on this side again. Okay, so I know I told you guys to buy a lot of patterns and kits, but Unfortunately, I ended up enabling myself and I bought patterns. I, I bought quite a few patterns. So, I, I want to show them. So, <clears throat> of course, I bought it when they were discounted. Of course, of course. Because my bobby has discounts all the time. I, I I can't go look there anymore. Right. So the first one that I got is this black and white, the forest spirit. I just, I love this one. It is wonderful. Look at all the backstitching. And I, I think it's just the cutest thing. I'm wondering a bit about the, the Sephora Spirit. Because I think those twigs grow from his head. Because, I mean, they could be just growing from the hill, hill or whatever thingy behind it. But I think they grow from it. I'm thinking about whether to do those in a different color. Like whether to do them green or something else, so haven't decided yet. But that's that's a possibility for sure. Of course, it would be nice to have the green DMC satin thread, and I wonder if I could do them nicely with that. I may need to consider that. Okay, moving on to the next one. Well. You know, I like bullfinches because they are lovely. They are big, fluffy, fat birds. They always look so gorgeous. So I had to get one. Alisa Ocknaus has uh, like a whole series of these round designs. Um, mainly plants. But I got this one. I love the blue background. I love all the rowan berries. I just... I love everything. It's all wonderful. Plenty of backstitching. Uh, well, this is another one of, from the series. How do you how do you pronounce that? Biblis? 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 I don't know. So, I thought that 
the pink flowers just looked so pretty. Love all the green there because I love stitching with greens. This will be wonderful. Next one is the Sleeping Purr. Um, I'll show you a close-up of it. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, what, there's only one thing I don't like about this. And it's the girl's face. She looks a bit angry. So I think I'm going to try and um, do the face a bit differently. So that, she doesn't, so that she doesn't look so angry. I wonder if it's the eyebrows that make her look angry. I think I think that's probably anyway when I saw this pattern I had to send it to to Sarah the stitching mummy because doesn't this cat look just like her smoky it really does I thought that I thought that the smoky has been the model for this one so I had to send it to her the link you know go take a look and oh have a look at all that back stitching as well on this one all around the cat there Ooh, that'll be fun uh then the um patterns are by anna uchiskaya were discounted and i have been eyeing these ones for a bit so couldn't say no and uh, they were cheaper to buy because you can buy these individually as well but they were much cheaper to buy in these um, lots of four so I thought well why not so I got this one and this one absolutely love them I think I will stitch them individually though not all four the same well I'll decide that when I get started, but I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll just do them individually. So here's another one. This one, I've been looking, I've seen this one on Etsy as well. And now just couldn't, couldn't resist it anymore because those colors are unreal. They're so beautiful. Talk about a nice, nice stitch. Um... Then, you know, I mean, I'm not a big, like, house building stitcher or anything. But there's just, <laughs> there's just something about this wintry, melancholy looking scenes that just, just, I just, I, I feel them in my heart, these ones. They somehow give me such comfort. I know, I know it's weird. I know it's weird. But they do. They, they, they make me feel really good. I just, I love that melancholy feeling, you know, of that tree without any leaves and just sees winter and snow and oh, it's, it's just wonderful. This is definitely another one that will make me so happy. When I'm working on it. Okay. Then this one. I bought it this morning. Did I bought it this morning? Last night. Gosh my sleep hours are already so weird. Because I'm, I'm already ready for the sports. You know. My sleep is very all over the place. But I saw this one. Absolutely couldn't resist it. It is such a beautiful biscornu that I I just I had to get it. I think it's so lovely. I wonder if it's stitched on like really dark blue. Like that doesn't even look that doesn't even look like, you know, like the the Zweigard navy which is almost like purple blue. This one looks like really dark blue, like the like the really dark blue that fabric that comes with RTO kits, mini RTO kits, because it's really nice deep blue. And that's what it looks like to me. It's it's just beautiful. 
Okay, I think that was all from the my bobbin. I did buy something from Etsy as well. Because this shop, Wonder Stitch UA, they have um they have a they have a deal where you can buy ten of their PDF patterns for ten dollars, which is amazing price. Like I think that's just crazy so of course I did that so I'm gonna show you eight of these because I bought two as gifts so Miss Amanda don't go looking you don't need to go looking right well if you do you'll know immediately anyway because you've already seen them once upon a time <laughs> okay so I got this owl Those colors. Do you love those colors as much as I do? Like those turquoises and those beautiful eyes. Just wow. Then I got um, another owl. Another amazing owl. I There was a, actually a picture of it stitched and it looks even better stitched because the previously turquoise owl that was a stitched picture looks amazing then I got this fox with um I think they're blueberries yes another one with amazing colors absolutely amazing then this um little sad looking forest spirit what is it with these forest spirits that I can't do? But I love the colours of this one too. And I think that the design is just amazing. Well, there's even like a jingle bell hanging from the bottom of the coat. It's beautiful. Um, This was actually why I started looking at the shop and what they had. These birds, I mean, wow, the colors again. I know I keep repeating myself, colors, 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 but colors, the yellows and greens, amazing. Um, Hydrangeas, is there anybody who doesn't like hydrangeas? I mean, they're so beautiful, aren't they? So, had to get that one. Then another bird, a toucan. I love it. Looks wonderful. And one more bird. It almost looks like um, some of the Australian birds that fly around because of the same bright colouring. So beautiful. That was it. Oh my goodness. Finally made it to the end of my haul. <laughs> Oh, kind of feel embarrassed that, you know, showing all of those because I bought so many. But this actually brings us to the next thing to talk about because I really want to talk about it. Um, I think like yesterday, I mean, this this sort of comes every now and then. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this, but like all of a sudden getting just really overwhelmed by how much stuff I have. Well, this time, how much stitchy stuff I have. Um, I think actually for as long as I can remember, though, I've always had a lot of stuff. Not not like a hoarding style where I can't get rid of anything. I mean, I love to get rid of stuff. But I but I get really excited about something, and then go a bit crazy. And instead of getting you know like one, I'll get five. And then the problem is that when there's a lot of choice, it then becomes overwhelming 
and I end up doing nothing. Which then ends up being a bit of a vicious circle because then when you overwhelm, you do nothing and then you feel even worse. But then you might see something else and think, okay, I think I'll get that. I'll get started with that. Then I can do the rest. But no, it just adds to the feeling of well, and you feel even more overwhelmed and then you feel bad because you bought something else to add to the mountain that you already have. So gosh, it's like I don't even quite know how to talk about it. But yeah, I um have a lot of like crafty stuff as well. Also have like paints and colored pencils and I have lots and lots and lots of rubber stamps. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of cardboard and scrapbook papers and I even have some sewing fabrics even though I still haven't been sewing because I'm still a bit scared but I think if we talk about the stitchy stuff like I mean I'm I'm way beyond like sorted for life and even though like I, I know I have been buying some patterns I haven't really wanted to buy any more kits. True. Like, I <laughs> I think that having been doing that thing with the whips recently it has been really fun like I, ha I, I have thoroughly enjoyed working on those whips making progress not stressing about how much progress I make or um, I also haven't stressed about getting finishes because even starting this year, I knew that finishes wouldn't be happening because I have so many that are just maybe not even halfway or, you know, just that I just don't have stuff that is close to a finish. So that has been fine and it's actually been quite freeing. It's... Cause I'm always so hard on myself and always ask for too much of myself and then as soon as I set those awful goals or rules or whatever I kind of freeze and my automatic reaction usually when I decide something is to start shut like I start shutting down a bit like my brain and I just want to sleep because I think I already it's 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 like an like an automatic thing that I've developed over many many years that I decide something and my brain wants to protect me immediately from failure or getting myself upset because I fail so now it's like yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this, and it's like the brain tells me, yeah, you just go to sleep, you know, you don't need to try, anything like that. But it is not it is not good for me, at all. Like I realize that. But it's very hard to change. Um. Because I'm a person who gets excited, you know, I get excited. I love making plans. I love doing challenges, but with challenges, 
I mean, you've seen it with like Stitch Mania, you know, where I, I just, it was, it was mentally a bit damaging. But like this, doing these whips, that's been a challenge that has been like really good for me and so fun. But how to find that balance when, when deciding to do something, that is still a mystery to me. So I know that all I can do is just try and fight against it and, and slowly but steadily just keep trying and and not let the brain keep telling me to just sleep so that I don't have to face the difficult stuff and things that make me anxious because just because something makes me anxious doesn't mean that it's dangerous or needs to be avoided. So, just, just needing to breathe a little bit. So I'm wondering how to go about not buying. <laughs> I know. Did you just yell at me? Just don't buy. You know, probably would have done that. I, I wonder if it says like not to set it like a hard and fast rule. But just, just let it be as a thing of, you know, maybe just not buy things. Like if I find a, you know, a unicorn kit that, that I've been after, you know, for ages. You know, of course I can get it, you know, that's, that's just fine. But maybe, maybe just concentrate on the happiness of stitching and enjoying the big stitchy stash that I have already and not, not even go looking that much. I don't really know what else to to do because I get a bit sad as well like if I buy pens I know that I already have tons so whenever I buy the new ones then it takes even long to, longer to get to the the other ones that I've already bought and really want to work on is this making any sense Sometimes I feel like when I'm, you know, talking here by myself, and thank you for listening, and when I'm talking by myself, like my head is just, feels like just full of cotton wool, and I don't, don't quite know what's going on, or if I'm saying everything that is in my mind. What do you think guys? Is it time to stop buying? Because I'm like not having all for videos, I mean that's fine. I that's definitely not why I bought or buy anything. Because you know it's always nicer to see stitching than haul. Like that's by far nicer. Hmm. So I the thing to I'll, I'll just show you a couple of things. Like like look at look at the fabrics I have. I have that whole box full. They don't even fit there anymore in that box. And that's one of those boxes that fit in like a you know IKEA shelf. And I had still some more fabrics on the desk. Plus a few here that are waiting. 
And then I have another box that has my Dimensions kits. Yep, yep. these new ones are still to go in there. Then I have one more box that has all the other kits. There's still a couple more that need to be need to go into that one as well. Then of course I have all of those Etsy my bobbing pens that I bought. Yes. And then I have like printed pens i mean like ones that are are bought already printed like you know when you order from one two three stitch or whatever i have lots of those as well i i really want to stitch them but i already have 70 plus whips that also need to be finished oh my goodness it is a lot it really is a lot. So let's just think of this as the first talk about this. And I might talk about it again in the next video or one after that. And see where we go. You know, sometimes I am so tempted to like hide away every stitchy thing that I have except the whips and just see how long it would take to finish every whip that I currently have. Like that idea is extremely exciting to me. But I'm like not sure I can do that because there are some tempting things to stitch. <laughs> what do you think? Would you do it? Would you do it? Just finish all your whips and not start anything until you, until the last one is done. Okay. I'm not going to keep you this any longer I'll, I'll just keep saying the same things over and over again so let's go back to the little videos and go back to those monthly blocks of the birds and black rock flowers here we go right friday night what time is it it is nine thirty-five. i have a freshly done chai latte to celebrate wow they're finally done oh my goodness I feel like it's taken absolutely forever to stitch these but um, having been ill really slowed me down and not sleeping slowed me down even more god I'm so shot there ready so that's the July block of course and that's the August one. I love the colours of that August one. Um, I really love the colours on that one. But I think I like the ones on the August one almost equally much. So let's have a little bit closer look here. As I always love the black work designs that um, she has here and the and the colors like was like a you call it like an ombre kind of thing. And that side, how pretty is that flower? And some bees. And gosh, that was a bit of a pain to stitch. As are these tiny things because there's like quarter stitches in the middle and oh gosh. But at the end, it just looks really good and yeah. I'm well happy so I cannot wait now to put that away and I really need to catch up on the dimensions bear bear one the sunset mountain trail now but 
um, I am now going to show you the progress pictures of how I went with this uh, bird and back work flowers doing these two blocks. Um, as promised, I took a picture after after finishing each color, and at the end, because there are three different things done with the black, so I took a picture after I did the like full crosses with black. Then another picture after doing single strand back stitching. And then a picture after the two strand back stitching, which was what I finished with. And I won't do the French look eyes until I'm until in December when I've finished the last block. Because they might end up being underneath the edges of the Q snap, so I did, didn't bother doing that yet. Okay. Put it away how much I and then some dimension stitching I mean you can see it on the left they're already waiting <gasps> So, what did you think? What did you think of um, all those pictures and seeing the progress of them getting finished? Um, I really hope that you liked it, and um, it was actually it was nice to take those pictures because it sort of kept me going because I was so not feeling well and I was trying to get through the get those down blocks done because. All I wanted to do was just get on with, <laughs> with other stitching. I was really missing my whip, so so that was it. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot to show you one more um, stitchy kindness from lovely Anna. Gave me this pan. <laughs> oh, good lord! What a what a cute one. I will most definitely be stitching this one. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so then the... Sunset Mountain Trail, the Dimensions Cape. I thought I would now show where I've gone so far. So today is the 17th. So that means that I've added 1,700 stitches to it because I worked on this a bit last night to add the the latest um, 100 stitches. So here it's at the moment. I mean, it, it has definitely grown from where I started it when I didn't even have the uh, bears done before doing the one hour challenge. So... So bit by bit, I've been going around. It has been really, really hard. Like, it has been just so hard. The pattern is very overwhelming because there's greenery and rocks and whatnot. They're just everywhere. So the stitches aren't really even in smaller blocks. They just like, they just, they just, go from one place to the the other just jump 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 so that is a little bit hard for me because I, I i don't know which direction to go so doing the 100 stitches a day has been really me forcing myself to do it and it has been worth it because i can i can feel it now each time that it's getting a little bit easier i think because there's um more places to count from and like cross check that you are in the right place and and it's starting to look like something i love it i love it i love the way it looks 
that I definitely do. It's it's really nice. So at the moment, the plan is definitely to keep going with this um, 100 stitches a day for the rest of the month. And then I can leave this in a good spot to work on again in the future. But, oh boy, it's it's really been hard. Sometimes it takes a while to get to that sweet spot where the stitching really gets enjoyable. Okay. <clears throat> so, my list, list says that we're going to go back to the to the whips where I get where I get them called and I have five videos coming up so let's watch those hello oh my goodness guys I finally get to work on my pathetic stars and and um, what was the other category possible finishes this year feel like it's been forever <laughs> it took so long to get those monthly things done and I almost didn't know what to do anymore when I went getting back to these now um I am feeling a lot better I still sound like very white but um yeah don't have to blow my nose all the time anymore which is wonderful I've been just super tired, like I can barely stay awake during the day and in the evening, no matter how much I sleep, so I guess I've been catching up a bit after the really bad week, but now it is 1.40 a.m. I woke up um, and felt really anxious, I had some sort of um, anxious stitchy dream. And it wouldn't leave me alone, you know, even when I woke up and couldn't quite settle to sleep again. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I thought I would get up um, and do a bit of stitching. And when I felt ready and um, then go back to sleep. So I had the next three weeps called already before I no well had them called anyway by different people so this was the next one in the list I love this bag this bag is so nicely made gosh it's just it's beautiful I really like it a lot it's so neat these edges look at them <gasps> so lovely and the colors are so pretty so the next whip was called by lovely Sabrina, who lives also also lives here in Melbourne, but the opposite side of the, the city. And I got to know her through my first tube. I think she got in touch with me already after like the f first episode. And uh, she has just recently started her own floss tube. Is this one lady marmalade in stitches she has her um her whip parade her kid parade and um then her first like um a normal episode which i'm going to be watching while stitching this i've been saving it for 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 this purpose so so that'll be nice so she picked one of the possible finishes this year, which is one of the Samantha Purdy ones. Um, you might remember this whip from, because I started this in May after being so stressed out by Stitch Mania and really badly needing um, something to distract me from feeling so awful when it just wasn't wasn't going well and this is the one I started it's called split pea soup so I just I just, I just love the names of these and the themes of of her designs they're just so fun 
And here is it's just a, just a little bit of the table there. I love this green this green um fabric. I just I don't know which one what it is. Looks like linen, but I don't know the name. Should try and figure it out because I really do like it a lot. Because I thought that this would be a water lily, but I just ordered recently water lily and it certainly wasn't this green. I don't know, does it depend on where it comes from? Well, anyway. So, this is where I am. Need to finish the paints there. And, oh yeah, I finished this after I had to frog the, the little rug. Because I had, I hadn't, um, there, there was, sorry, there's one row missing from this pot. So the counting, there was just some, yeah, I think there was that wrong with the, with the counting then. So just going to, I was thinking I would just get this tall boy done here. And there's a lamp, I think, on this side, if I remember. All right, I've got to check. Oh, no, there's a broom. A broom? Pretty sure that that's a, that's a broom. Well, I'll decide. I'll decide. <laughs> this once it's done. Is it a lighter? <laughs> Is it a broom? I feel like it's a broom. Because I don't have a picture of the whole thing, you know. It's just a, the pattern. But yeah, um, whatever I get done, this one is fine. Because it's always sort of a bit like block stitching. Sometimes I'm so not in the mood for block stitching. Sometimes I can really, really enjoy because um, so I like these patterns a lot. So sometimes that just grabs me and I enjoy getting some of it done. So we'll see what happens. There's no, no stress, so that's good. Okay, I got my apple bubble tea again here waiting. So I'm gonna enjoy that, get some stitching done, maybe get some more sleep. But as I've been talking, you know, I'll be waking up a bit more and feeling more excited and I'm so happy that zombie kitty is back again Whee! so cool Whee! Okay. <laughs> I think I need to grab some chocolate as well okay I'll come back soon to show what I what I got done I'm back with my customary three drinks coke another apple <laughs> ST and a cup of butterscotch cookie tea, I think. So, right, here we go. God, the green again, like, just most miserable looking in this, in the, on the camera. How weird. It's like you go there, come back, it looks nice and green, and then it immediately goes light. Okay, anyway. So, my goal was to finish the, the, well, pretty much the right half of the, Pattern, and that's what I did. So I'm really happy. I also started the working on the rug because I wanted to finish the socks and I had some white left over from I had to finish the pants, pant legs. So I did a bit of the, the soup bowl and um, then did a bit of the rug, whatever I had left of the white. I love the way this looks. I've got the the tall boy. I think that's a bottle of booze of some sort. I have no idea what these jars are. I also did a bit of back stitching here to make them look more like jars because I mean that's what I think they are. So this is the lamp because it's funny. I thought first that this thing was like a beehive shaped some sort of um, drink dispenser or something but no this is the lamp so this is the broom 
So the broom is now fully done as well. I wonder if it's on the wall because it has these green bits there. So I'm wondering if that's like a holder and it's just like on the wall, hanging on the wall on those. But I love it. I so love some of the pretty designs. Like I just, I just can't say enough how, how lovely they are. And look, there's minimal backstitching, but I still love them so much. Um, I easily could just keep stitching it like all the way to finish. There's a, um, oh, I'll use these scissors. This window here with some flower pots. I need to finish the table, the lady sitting on this side, and whatever is on the table. It's uh, the pea soups, spoons in their hands, and the bottle of uh, lingonberry juice. I think someone might, some might call it wine, but for me, it's going to be lingonberry juice, so that's what it is. But I decided that since I made it the goal, I'm really happy with that, and I don't want to stitch to left, left words tonight. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it away and get to the next one that has been called. Gosh, it's so nice to be stitching something else. Very happy about that. Well, I suppose I'll probably be back soon with the next wave that has been called to let you know what it is. Okay, here we go. Um, quarter past nine, Sunday night. I thought that I would get the next wave ready and put it on the Q-snap, so probably start stitching it tomorrow morning. So this one got called. It got called by my lovely stitchy friend, Cam. And um gosh, this one this one is becoming popular. <laughs> um I don't actually know what I'm gonna stitch. Well I did finish all the half stitches last time, didn't I? Because it looks nice with all oh, this looks like it's snowing here. I love it. I love it. So I think my options Pretty much I like to start stitching the mistletoes. So maybe just go with this first branch here, a branch, twig, what do you call it? I don't know. Just maybe have that as a goal and do the berries and the and the leaves. I think they're still a few the further ones up there. Yeah, I'll quick look at the Oh, okay. So this particular bit only has the berries and these two leaves. And then there's a, um, another one, there's these three berries and then two leaves up here. And leave up here. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. Get my greys out and get those going. I really don't mind stitching with greys. It's only the browns that I... That bore me to bore me to sleep. But um shades of grey I'm I'm fine with. And see overseeing all this um red is so lovely. So I'll get the Q snap out, get this ready. And maybe even look for the colours tonight. And I am back again to show you what I managed to get done on the Bone and mistletoe, enjoying a passion fruit bubble tea here. Okay, let's have a look. Way! <laughs> oh, it looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh, I like it so much. So the left side is now completely done. Back stitching and everything. Oh, um... I even did the French knot for the eye, but there's some French knots um, for the um, berries. Um, I didn't do those yet, so I'm gonna going to do them at the right at the end, I reckon. But I just wanted the bird to have the eye, at least give it a whirl and 
see how it looks because sometimes the prints not just don't look so so great when I make them. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of backstitching today. I also um, frogged the whole beak and did that one again. I also frogged what I had done with the white. Um, like the back stitching. Yeah, I, I frogged that and did, did all of that again. And I'm much happier now with how it looks. And what else? Well, of course, just finished stitching the mistletoe leaves and the berries and did all the back stitching. So the right side just has the big load of the mistletoe leaves and more berries and whatnot. So that's what I'll be getting into when I when the next comes out. I do hope that you'll get called again soon. As I would love to make some more more progress. I actually do I really did enjoy working on the different greys. I think they're just really pretty. Okay, I'll be back soon with the next week to work on. Okay, here we go again. Time for the next whip. And let me tell you, I think this is currently the most pathetic start that I have. And I have been dreading a little bit getting to this, which actually makes no sense because I really, really, really love this pattern. But I think because the start was so small and it has been waiting for ages, it has been like, uh, where do I start? So let's do it. It's in this lovely bag with lovely birdies. I like this one a lot. Lovely gingham. There we go. Well, let's just have a look. What is it? Yes, I am sure that you have seen this one before. It is the Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna, which you can only buy at from uh, Nitka Moscow. And of course, at the moment, you can't because it's in Russia and those are just very difficult to get. Unless you just happen to find it. So far, I suppose somebody who already bought it. I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't needed to look because I already have it. So it is such a lovely pattern. It is, it is so me. And, um, okay. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Here we go with the pen, which is printed on such nice dirty paper. I love it. I love these colors. Aren't they just pretty? So pretty. Just really want to stitch with these. Oh God, I feel embarrassed to show my start. That's it. Oh my god. It looks like it's from, from Pac-Man. One of those things that you eat there. With the, oh god. So that, that really is it. That's all I managed when I started this. This was actually a New Year's start. And I remember I was so excited to start this. But this is all I managed that that night and I haven't touched it since um and that was was it like two years ago oh boy in that time even Amanda has started and finished this pattern already and Raven has been stitching did you already finish this one Raven well, she certainly has stitched a, a bit of it, at least. 
so it is about time I I get going again so I picked the cat in the donut needle binder to cheer me up because I mean it does have sparkles I want some sparkly icing on donut and this is what I've done is right here in the middle one bit so I was thinking I would just go downwards on that one if I can be oops, sorry if I can be bothered you know maybe do those as well already so that's all I'm gonna all I'm gonna work on now <sighs> see where I end up let's have a let's hope that when I come back and show you that there's at least some more <laughs> it's not just not just another little bit bit that looks like that Oh boy, this will be so great to get eliminated by making progress on it. Because, yeah, this really needs him. Okay, that's it. Let's get stitching. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> so that was the last one now, the magic tree. I forgot to say that that was called by Cory. Hi, Cory from diamond painting effect with Cory. And I'm scared of the magic tree. I haven't stitched it yet. But I will. Well, maybe I maybe haven't stitched it yet because I wanted to catch up on the on the dimensions kit. And then I started a new project. It has been a while. So this is something else I need to tell you about. But I just forgot to go pick up something. Here we go. I had to grab my drink as well. A cup of Earl Grey. Okay. So... Last time I told you my Etsy tally with, <laughs> with how many pens I have um, bought from there and how many I stitched at them and whatnot. So I really, I decided that I would like at all times to have like at least one um, Etsy, Etsy project and one My Bobbin project on the go. It's a whip. I have been considering also doing the same with um, pens from Cross Stitcher magazine because there are so many I would like to stitch. But it's so easy to forget about them because I have them... I have them, like the majority of them, in digital form. I do have some also from the magazines because I just went through them and kept them um, pens that I like, you know, would like to stitch. So, what I did was I wrote all my, uh, my bobbin purchases on pieces of paper put them in this bag because we don't have that many then the Etsy ones went into a box I wanted to have a box with these because lovely lovely Sherry has has a cup where she has everything that she wants to stitch kits pants magazine ones anything from books all written on pieces of paper and whenever she finishes a project now she then gets her husband to um draw what the what the next project will be and i love that i always love this sort of stuff so i thought that that's what i'm gonna do and i got paul to pick one of each So, you see, 
So this is what he picked from the Etsy box, which is uh, Deck the Halls by, by Stitching Housewives. I think this is the only pen by them that I have. Just had to get it. I mean, those chickens, they're gorgeous. Um, it's not a big pen either. I mean, it's going to be a pain to stitch the mug. But stitching white on black, that's not the worst. Much better than white on white. So I'll just need to cut fabric for that. I'm just going to go on for black Ada. Easy peasy. So then the second one was the one from my bobbin. And he drew this one, which is the sweet sweet pea branch. And I was just saying to um, someone on um, Instagram that I think this should be called snow snow pea branch because I mean it has actual pea pods. It's not just the the flower. But I love that one. I love that pen. That is great. So, you remember those two green fabrics that I showed earlier, the sage and the water lily? I got them for, for this one, so that I can try the threads, which one would work better. So, this was my choice. I decided that it would be the 32 count water lily linen, because the sage, even though the sage fabric is prettier, I felt like the green was a little bit off with the color, so. So I started this actually last night. So I haven't gone very far yet. Here's a very little start. So very diff very different um, kinds of greens because there's like that, that sort of yellowy green. And then we go to these ones, which which are the leaves that are much colder greens. But I do think that like both types of green go with this fabric. They look a bit weird together though at the moment. But um I love the way the pen looks so now it's gonna look fine. And of course the thing is that these will always all be backstitched which makes you know them look just much better god i'm liking that start really yeah i started with the peapot in the middle leaf i think that's what i would like to do there's like a a peapot and one behind it so I, that's what i would like to do get those two stitched and then i'm happy with the start and I guess then it will be time to go to that magic tree. By the way, let me tell you, Amanda is very excited that um, um, the magic tree has been called because she's been waiting for. She has been she's been really trying to get me to stitch it. So now it's finally happening. Okay, so. Turns out that this has become another mega long video because mine just do because I don't know when to stop and I sometimes I just I really need some stitchy chatting. Can't help myself. So I guess tonight when Paul comes home we'll come start working on this one, start doing the editing. There's like a million pictures to add to this because of all the purchases and at those um, blocks of stitching. So I reckon I'll be back after the sports, um, the championships finish. Oh my, I really am, I'm still very excited. So um, I'll see you then. Let's talk again. I'll come for another whole visit. And since I'm going to start slowing down on the purchases, please buy.
please support the lovely designers and show me what you buy and all the new starts that you do because I want to see it all. I so love seeing what everybody's stitching on Instagram and in messages and whatnot and I will really try hard to catch up on the messages too because you all are just so wonderful. So bye for now.